Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to create a responsive design website using Dreamweaver's Fluid Grid Layout. I'm using Dreamweaver CC in this example, but I'm going to hand code it, so really, as long as you have Dreamweaver 5.5 or newer, you should be able to follow along. First thing I'm going to do is go to File New, I'm going to make sure Fluid Grid Layout is selected, and hit Create. It prompts me to save the CSS file, so I'm just going to put this in a folder called Example. And the CSS I'm going to put in a folder called Styles. I name this master. And then the first thing I do is I actually save the what the first page as well. So index.html, I'm going to save in my example folder. And then it says that it needs some other things to go along with it, specifically the boilerplate and the JavaScript, and that's fine. So here I am. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of this text here and I'm going to rename this ID container and then within it I'm going to create a header tag nav tag section tag and a footer tag and then within these, I'm going to add the class fluid to my header and to my footer. This basically makes it, let's try that again. But I'm not going to actually add that to my section or my nav because I'm going to do a two different column layout. So hopefully it'll make sense. I'm going to have basically my nav float to the left and then have to the right the main page. So then sometimes I will also just add some basic text to help tell where or what each part is. So there it is. And so I actually just hit home in front of nav because that's going to later be my navigation. But if you want to be consistent, there you go. All right, so then once you have this set up, the next step is to go to your master, CSS. And it basically has the first part is where you put CSS that you want to apply to the whole page. So I can basically go here and add a background color for instance for the whole page All right so I could go over let's say gray and then this is where I could say you know I want the font family for this whole page to be say Helvetica so I'll get rid of this Gotham so by doing this this applies to the whole page but then there's a part for mobile a part for our tablet and then a part for desktop. So I'm going to work down here in desktop. I'm going to make sure I have desktop selected. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create my container. I'm going to add a width there. That looks good. And then I'm going to do something for my header for my nav just adding a placeholder and then my footer so then this is where I'm just gonna and I could actually just copy this but I want my footer and my header to be 100 percent I want my nav to be 25 percent and I'm going to have this float left. And my section, I'm going to have 75%. And I have that float left. There's lots of ways you could do this. You could have one float left, one float right. And so you can kind of see it take shape there. And then I'm going to, oops, I spelled that wrong. I'm going to add some basic background. So background color. For my container, it's going to be white. I'm going to do the same thing for my section here. Then over here for the nav, I'm going to add this background color. And I'm going to go up, and that background color that I set for the background of my page, I'm going to put that for my footer. Well, I'm down here for my footer. I'm just going to 
do text align center. I'm going to do font size small. And I'll do color. This is where I just go with a lighter gray. Okay, so that looks pretty good. And then for my header, I'm going to do a background color. do that as something like that. Alright, so let's save all and let's take a look. Okay, so this is what it looks like, the basic layout. It looks pretty good. Now I want to add some basic padding. So I need to be careful with padding because it can always give some problems and it can throw things off when you have this basically. Um, set up because it's looking at 75%, 25%. When you start adding padding, you can definitely make things upset and mess with the order of things. But I'm going to add 1% padding for my footer. And I'm going to copy that. I'm going to do the same thing for my section and my nav, but it's going to force this on a separate line. So this is where I'm going to go back and change that to 73. Nope. So I keep trying to get it right. 72, nope. There it goes. Okay. So I'm not going to add anything for my header because what I'm going to do with my header now is I'm going to go over here to my HTML and I'm just going to add an H1. So there that is, right? And so I can see it, but I'm going to go over here and this is something where I could have it change from each layout in this case I'm just gonna just add for simplicity and this is where I could start with a different font family for instance so it doesn't really matter which one right now as far as we're trying to do and I'm gonna do a color white I'm gonna do padding and this is where I can, I'm going to actually just set it as 10 pixels, the top, the right, I'm going to leave 0 pixels, bottom, I'm going to do 5 pixels, and the left, we'll actually try 1% because that's what we did before. So let's just see. And usually I'd spend the time and might actually get these all as percents, but this is, for now, fine. Let's preview it. Let's get it back over here. Let's try that once more. Make sure everything's saved. It is. All right, so we definitely lost something along the way. So this is where you start to play around and see what it is it what got upset. There's definitely a space here. All right, so this is where you can jump over your HTML and see did something throw that off. Is the bottom padding giving it a problem, right? So this is where you just have to kind of play with this. Right? And if it's giving you a lot of problems, right? Get rid of it. Alright, let's save all. So it looks good. There's just still, you definitely need a little of that padding left. So you go back up here and just say padding left 1%. Got to make sure. Ah, uh, see? This is where hand coding, you got to make sure. This is where hand coding, you got to make sure that you don't get rid of a semicolon or you don't get rid of a curly brace you need. Okay, but that's the basic layout. So we're going to do two more things here. We're going to start with two more at least. Home, page one, page two. And we'll just do that for now. And home, we're going to basically call index. Page one, 
which is called page one usually would have more meaningful names but for this example you get the idea and so these other pages haven't been created yet but as long as I'm consistent with my naming conventions when I'm done and I go through and I name all these I'll be good to go and then up here in section I'm going to make sure I'm in HTML mode I'm going to go over here and I'm going to give myself some space but I'm going to basically do my h2 tag for section header and this is basically you know main page header text right for your paragraph and then you want to h3 So with that, I would basically go back to here and under my, and I want to make sure I'm above the mobile. This is where I can do the same kind of thing for H2, H3. So I can copy this, put it down here. Maybe I don't want to deal with the same padding, right? But I do want to have margin bottom be zero pixels. I'm going to copy that over again. And so, you know, this top one, for instance, could be a, something like this. And this could be a gray. And then the last thing I'd do is my paragraph. I would do margin top. And this is just to improve the proximity. You see what that just did, right? And so I could say I'm missing that there. So that looks good here. And then I would want to do some basic things for my So for my links, I'm going to right so see how, what that just did is it made them white and you could do other things to definitely style them but let's right now just go to save all and actually I notice I don't have a title so whatever the name of your site is some meaningful thing there okay so just like that definitely want to work on my contrast a little but I have a basic site so now then the next step is once this looks good, right? Down here what I'd want to do is I'd want to copy these and go up to my tablet. And this is where I could change this more depending on how it works. Usually I can get away with that but in the tablet, but in the mobile, this is where I want to change this to a hundred percent. And this is where I want to change this to hundred percent. So now let's save all and preview. Okay, so then you take a look at the tablet view. Looks good. And you ideally want to always test these out and then that would you take a look there. And so hopefully this gives you a basic idea of what you'd want to do at this point. After this you would just simply do a save as for page one. Save as page two. Oops, see I did that because I'm in the CSS. I need to make sure I'm in source code. Page one. You know, and sometimes I'll even go back through here before I even go on. Page one. Page one. And I save it again, and then I do a save as. For page two. Save all. So now when I go back to this, what should happen is everything should work, right? So I click home, I stay here, I click on page one, I go to page one, I click on page two, I go to page two. So hopefully this gives you a basic idea how to create a 
basic left navigation responsive design website using a fluid grid layout in Dreamweaver. Thanks.